Hey everybody, James Yeager, Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Another revolver. This is the Taurus 856, the Model 85, uh, a, uh, a common common uh, gun in their lineup for many years. And this is the 85, but the six means six shots. So, uh, and still relatively the same size gun. Uh, nice small little uh, uh, package, uh, 38 Special. I'll be shooting the very special Fiocchi 38 Special. 158 grain and uh, what uh, a lot of folks may not know is that when you find uh, when you find like the model 10 Smith or guns like this with the un not adjustable rear sight what you get is a, a very tough and durable sight what you don't get is the ability to adjust for different rounds most of them are regulated for a particular weight of bullet so if you got a model 10 Smith uh, typically they shoot 158 grain uh, 38 rounds, but if you were to put some like hot 125 grain round in there, it probably wouldn't shoot point A and point impact for you. Um, so what I'm saying is, if you got a revolver that won't, you know, won't shoot where you want it to, maybe try a different way to bullet to to see what's going on with it. But that's typically what you have when you have fixed sights. The reason the reason there are adjustable sights on revolvers, and the reason they were ever put on there to begin with, was to accommodate for different weights of bullets. Uh, so. Uh, Ergonomically, it's got this nice, uh, this nice uh, mat. It's not even a semi, is it? Yeah, kind of maybe a semi finish. Uh, looks good. It's a you know good looking pistol. It, you know, and that that does matter. The grips look good. The grips feel great. <laughs> they look good. They feel great. And not um, a lot of uh, padding on the backside. Uh, you know where it should be. Very nice ergonomic grip. It's like it looks like it should be comfortable. Even that, not, even that notch right there for your pinky is is right on time. So, uh, so let's shoot this. Uh, see if we can hit that steel at uh, 20 something yards out there. See how that goes. I'm gonna line up the sights and put them right in the middle and see what happens. I heard steel. <laughs> Actually, a very, very shootable uh, little gun. Very shootable. Um, easy to hit with. Uh, that's the first time I, sh I shot an 856. Uh, though you just saw me fire the first rounds I've ever fired out of one. Uh, I thought it was quite, quite controllable. Now it could be because the previous videos I made were with 44 magnums. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little. Uh, Little shell shock from that. I don't know, but this this gun is a uh, quite pleasant to shoot. See if I can shoot a little bit faster and still hit. We'll see. This gun's a shooter. This gun's a shooter. There's no no doubt, no doubt. And I'm shooting a half size IPSC shaped target from Shoot Steel. Uh, so I'm not even shooting a full size target. It's it's I don't know, 20 inches tall. I don't know. I don't even want to guess. Somebody like, you're a lawyer, huh? But it's, it's a half size, so, so and, and it's at 22 yards, something like that. I, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some more. <laughs> gun is a shooter absolutely a shooter and I guess those 158 Fiocchi's are lining up perfect on it wow neat little gun neat little gun uh, yeah yeah this is a neat little pistol I, <laughs> I am impressed like uh, with the grips and everything like yeah Okay, I'll, sh I'll shoot some more. I I'm going to try to shoot it faster than I feel comfortable. See if I can still hit. Be okay. Come on. <laughs> if I get, get it to slide out of the box. Apparently when you're gripping the sides of it, it makes it harder to pull the, pull the shelf out. All right. Feeling lucky? I know, I'm being silly. I 
think I hit it five times. I think I hit it five times. <laughs> I couldn't hear for all the shooting. But I know it was moving most of the time, so I got some hits in there. I, and I was shooting it faster than I felt comfortable. comfortable. The problem with, with, with snubbies, uh, let me grab a piece of brass. The problem with snubbies, and this is, this is all of them, is that the ejector is not long enough to eject the round. So, you see? So that's a problem with, with any snubby. They have the short ejector because of the short barrel it's got to be there's there's no, no way around it so um when you, when you reload these things if, if you're reloading them for for real uh it's a it could it, it could be cons time consuming pulling those rounds out so that's usually why people don't carry uh reloads for a backup gun it's you know the 38 is usually the backup gun and the the definition of an optimist is a dude that carries a snubby and a speed strip definitely an optimist there but uh, uh, I, I, I dig this little pistol I dig this little pistol I get no problems with it I mean just a few rounds I shot 25 30 40 I don't know the few rounds I shot it's not a of course it's not a real test of it but number one out of the box boom and, hit, and hitting at that distance at that speed with a gun this small pretty impressive James Jacob for that response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.